Welcome to the BD Qtopia video editing tutorial. Today, I'll guide you through the process of creating an impressive eye masking transition using CapCut. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on upcoming tutorials and more. I have imported an eye blink video. This type of video you can download pixabay.com or pixels.com. I want to set the video starting point when the eye is closed. That's why I have removed some frames from the start. Remove the extra part of the video. At this playhead position export the still frame. Add the still image to the timeline. Add the still image again to the above video track, and just the duration is shown. Select the above track video, and add the circle mask. Adjust the size and position of the mask. Increase the feather value to 2. At the starting point of the top video track, add the first keyframe to scale. Forward the playhead at 3 seconds duration. Change the scale value to 125. Select the below track still image. Add the first keyframe to the scale at the starting point of the image. Forward the playhead at 3 seconds duration, and add the second keyframe to the scale. Forward the playhead where the top track image ended. Add the third keyframe to the scale. Select the second keyframe, and change the scale value to 125. Select the third keyframe, and change the scale value to 150. Import a video, and add the video to the timeline. Hide the middle video track. Select the mask, and make the mask reverse. The video into the eye is not showing perfectly at this point. That's why I have removed some portions from the start of the video. Unhide the middle video track. Set the playhead at the first keyframe position of the middle video track. Reduce the opacity, and add a keyframe to the opacity. Forward the playhead a few frames, and reduce the opacity. Continue the same process shown in the video. Now it will look like this. Go to Effects and search for Show Zoom. Add the Show Zoom effects to the timeline. You can also increase the duration of the effects.
If needed you can reduce the duration of the mask. That's all from this tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more amazing tutorials.